And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Jinx. This is going to be our first deck today. We're going to be playing, this is a donation deck. We're going to be playing it over in normal. So therefore on my thumbnail, I'm going to call it a meme tier deck because it's just, you know, in the past, just traditionally, we haven't really had any success with Professor Von Yip Jinx kind of decks before, but a lot of these cards are changing and uh metagame's changing and i'm pretty excited about this one you know we're gonna get excited uh, i think this this could do some good stuff so we're mostly all pnz we're splashing frel yord for some good things we have the best one drop in the game omen hawk um you know that's obviously a great card to have with your professor von yep and we have avaros and hearth guard which is just an awesome five drop grant all, all of our allies in our deck plus one plus one since we got a lot of card draw with three experimenters, two progress days, that will definitely help having all of our allies get plus one, plus one. And then the other card that could be pretty sweet in this deck is Averroes and Trapper, which, you know, like this just fits the curve. It's just going to be a three mana card for us to play, but it's going to create a one mana Enraged Yeti in our deck. And of course, that one mana Enraged Yeti, great with Professor Von Yip. We can make that thing a seven, seven. That thing's even larger. So yeah, we got uh, lots of one drops. We have 12 one drops in here. Not really doing much on the two mana slot, just some mystic shots, um, but then three mana we'll have Trapper, we'll have Sump Dredger. Um, whenever we played the discard aggro the other day and both Zonite Urchin and Sump Dredger both looked amazing. And so like it'll be, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to try out uh, these two cards in this deck, just be able to help us rifle through our deck. We got a lot of card draw because we have so many one drops we want to have a whole lot of card draw because we're able to empty our hand pretty quickly with having the 12 one mana cards but then also like we don't have to be too worried about like our deck just getting clogged up with like two augmented experimenters in a progress day you know like that that's something that can happen but if that does happen we have the sump dredger and the urchin that can just uh rummage those away fairly easily and help us um, continue on and, and uh, getting more into our deck. So pretty excited about this. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm not playing Jury Rig, which honestly, maybe that's the card that we should have in here to go along with the Urchin and the Sump Treasure and uh, the Professor Von Yip. It's kind of hard to fit in Jury Rig, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just supposed to put that in there. Um, I don't really know what it would be over. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what it would be over. Because um, I don't want to take, you know, we don't want to take out the one mana elusives. They're awesome. We have Omen Hawk. We have Urchin. Like, maybe you play that instead of Hearth Guard, I guess. We'll kind of, we're going to play some games and kind of test it out. And we'll see. And, you know, maybe we'll get Jury Rig in here. Um, but, yeah, no Jury Rig, no Rummage for now with those two cards. Let's give this... Let's give this a try. We're going to just play over in normal, like I said. Like, we're going to, um, you know, we're, we're going to be working on this. This is a donation deck that, that the viewer submitted that had, um, that had kind of, you know, like a rough outline and stuff. And they said they've really been struggling making the deck work. And so I, I changed up some things in here. See, like, I guess this would probably be, like, would this be better as Jury Rig? Maybe. Shen Quinn. I think we have to mulligan one of the four mana cards, and I guess I would rather have Professor Von Yip right away over... Um, over Jinx. I'll play Omen Hawk. I want to play Urchin... Oh, wow, they just didn't even attack. Let's say I want to play Urchin because it blocks that thing, but... I'm going to save... Yeah, let's save Urchin for now. Let's just save this mana. We'll have, like, one Dredger discard the other Dredger. That's a great draw. That's good, getting that thing out of there. Definitely good. Alright. 
Let's we'll play. So we'll play Professor Von Yip here. Now I, I do really want to play Everose and Hearthguard this next turn. There's also a lot of incentive to just play Daring Poro and Zonite Urchin, and then we can play a Trapper. You know, just start playing some some things that get plus two plus two. There's a lot of incentive there as well. So Tracker. Flea Feather Tracker, kill Professor Von Yip. That's not great. Let's go with the Daring Poro to start with. Smell that? A bite to cook. I think I may just play this gotcha to kill the Fleet Feather Tracker. Hey, what's up, Lemon Slayer? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, try, definitely trying some stuff out with the deck. Feel the sizzle! Can't fight on an empty stomach! Sure you can. Gotta stay hungry. No. All right, two for two trade, I guess. Not the best mana trade for us, though. We just spent eight mana on our two cards. They spent three on theirs. Okay, that's a good card. So this is tough. I want to play... I guess we're just going to play Hearthguard. Yeah, we're just going to play Hearthguard. I don't know about Urchin. I don't know about Urchin. We would discard Trapper. Playing the Urchin, discarding the Trapper would get me closer to playing the Augmented Experimenter. Yeah, I mean, maybe we just discard Trapper. I could see doing that. I mean, I'm not discarding the Augmented Experimenter, so I mean, that's that's my only option. Okay, I could... This turn we can go Dredger, discard Urchin, and Trapper. Trapper first, of course. Hopefully put the Yeti on top, draw Yeti, be able to play Yeti as well. So Yeti first. Draw Yeti. Darn. Um Experimenter can take down at Sothria. Slow down, will ya? So we get the front half of Grizzled Ranger with that Mystic Shot. Flamer. Ephemeral in the new labs is hilarious, especially the shark. Oh man, that does sound hilarious. We gotta try that out. Um, we may do that tomorrow. For fun Friday. 
need to do a video of us playing all six decks in the lab. Kimo, hey, what's up? I am having a great day, actually. I am having a, a really fantastic day. Thank you so much. Do we want to attack with the two three threes? I don't really see any, any reason to attack with the two three threes. Yeah, I could see Zed being a little OP. <laughs> he got a 66 power Hecarim. <laughs> oh, we gotta do those labs. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I played one game with the Scout deck earlier today and I drew very poorly. I just drew like all spells and um, my opponent had a bunch of fearsome stuff and like my scouts were like two, the ones that I did have were two power. I didn't like have any die because they just had fearsomes and just killed me with fearsome things. And I was sad. The war mother will unite us all. This Avros and Hearth Guard plus a whole bunch of card draw is pretty sweet. Good combo. Timo. Another day in the field. Just another day in the field. On, yep. Uh. This is a lethal attack. I think we're gonna get this first one. It'd be nice to have jury rig. Where where do y'all think that we can fit jury rig in? I mean, like the hearth cards were good. You can't you can't block way over there. This is lethal damage before that thing does anything. And they probably just can't block anywhere. All right, so right now they're taking 6, 11, 13. I'm not discarding Teemo. Uh, see the urchin. I guess I could have done just both of these. I could have done both of those just upstairs at them. But then Teemo didn't get to do lethal damage. I'd rather have Teemo do lethal damage. We did it together. We did do it together. One win. Okay, we got four pedals from that. Looks like we gained something. What do we, what do we earn? We got Sharp Steel Silverwing. Sweet. Whoa, Fimo with the raid. I'll see us getting this cool Silverwing. Welcome everybody from Fima Stream. Fima Stream. Yeah, welcome from, hello, everybody in Russia. Uh, how do we do this? We were playing, what, Professor Jinx? Sorry, monkey. I need to use new silver wing. Hello Raiders. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna be playing uh, four pretty sweet decks today. Uh, if, you know, if you're new to the stream, I play a very wide variety of decks. We're starting with Professor Jinx, Professor Von Yip and Jinx together. Playing this one over in normal, we're gonna be playing our other three decks over in ranked. And we'll see if, if we do really well with this deck, maybe we'll play an extra one in normal or like the last, or extra one in ranked or the last one in ranked or so. 
Um, we're going to keep trying it out. I'm trying to make Professor Vaughn yip and Jinx work. Just seeing how it goes. Let's get rid of all of these. Keep the gotcha. Keep gotcha. Hey, Moreau. Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was trying to make me play the Daring Poro, and I was like, no, I don't want to. Alright, what you got, Silverwing? Alright, you pretty cool. Alright, I want to hold on to the Daring Poro until after Von Yip, so we're going to be saving this mana for the gotcha. Uh, we got a Battle of the Birds. Good thing we got the extra bird. Oh no! That's gonna kill my bird. Um, hmm. I. That kills the bird, I suppose. I know, hardly fair. Do I play... Let's go play Jinx. I don't want to play Von Yip and then they kill Von Yip. I kind of want to play... I mean, Hearthguard is just so good. I kind of want to just play Hearthguard next turn, Hearthguard next turn. Like turn 5, turn 6. And then turn 7, we drop Von Yip and Daring Poro and Daring Poro and... You know, another one mana card that we draw right there, Teemo. We get to do all of those turn seven together. Uh, you know, before these things are killing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we we could wait till after combat because of Ranger's Resolve for the Gotcha. It doesn't really make much difference, does it? Like if they have if they do have Ranger's Resolve, uh we would deal one extra damage, right? Like, they would have a 2-1 instead of a 2-2. Two, two. Which, yeah, I mean, it's better than having a 2-1 instead of a 2-2, two, two, but I just kind of did the easy thing and figured it not that big of a deal, and so I just played it. Okay, or we could go Professor Von Yip this turn and then go, like, Daring Poro and Teemo this turn while we're attacking. Man, this coin's about to level up. Our strength is yours. You had a 1-1. One, one. I'm not even sure what you mean. You missed two damage, you had a one. Whoa! Hey! Well the Right. Well, just think just just consider what happens. If I cast if I cast gotcha like how I cast gotcha during combat, if they play the card Rangers Resolve, they take zero from Omen Hawk, and then they take two from Get Excited, so they have a two two. If I wait till after combat, they would take one from Omen's Hawk, and then if I would play Gotcha, they would take two from the Gotcha, and so they would have three total damage on the Protege, so it would be a 2-1. One. It's one damage. Uh, let's see. It's the same from the Gotcha either way, it's just I, they would have prevented the one damage from the Omen Hawk. This Quinn's gonna be a big problem. I mean, 
think those is Dawn Speakers, obviously. Stand and defend. But we should have some large elusives. This is 10 damage here. Be strong. These are yeah, if we can start tracks. making some super mega death rockets. Um, I guess I play the... Let's see, wait. Urchin's just going to be bigger than some treasure. Because Urchin gets the bonus from the Von Yip, so it's going to be a 6-5. I guess we play that thing. Anything else? <laughs> this are we are doing it! Yeah, we have the new. We got the new Heimerdinger, right? <laughs> Professor Von Yip is the new Heimerdinger. <laughs> Let's make all these three power elusives. My heart and sword for the I guess, like, Omenhawk's a 5-5. Five five. Like, maybe it should just replace the Urchin with it. Strength and grace, beauty and flame. Wait, what am I doing? We going upstairs. What's that, Mamba Man? Dude, Avros and Hearth Guard's pretty sweet. Justice takes flight. It's our time to shine, Valor. Stay back. Just gotta hope they don't kill my jinx. No, I would not have gotten a. No, if I would have played the Omen Hawk, I would not have gotten a uh, Super Mega Death Rocket. Because my Jinx leveled up last turn, and so I had already emptied my hand that round, and so it would not have been the first time that I emptied my hand during a round. So, no, I would not have gotten a Super Mega Death Rocket. Um. Oh, no, this is going to be bad! Wait, because then I discard this. Forgot about that. Oh no. Hmm, I, wonder. I forgot about Augmented Experimenter doing that. Well, that was nice of them. It turned out, I mean, I don't know. I had the, I had the Teemo. And the Teemo. So I should have discarded Experimenter to, to get excited. Oh, but then I couldn't play the other thing. No, my other thing was Omen Hawk. Yes, I could have played the Omen Hawk. It wasn't, it wasn't the Urchin. It was the Omen Hawk. Oh, so far the patch has been a lot of fun. I really impressed with these PNZ cards. I just from first reading, I didn't realize how good these would be. I thought they would be pretty good, but I've been really impressed with Urchin and Sump Dredger so far. What do y'all think? Turn one Teemo, turn one Omen Hawk. So yeah, patch one six. Been a lot of fun. Alright, we're going to turn one Teemo with them playing the Precious Pet. Should not have a blocker for Teemo. And they'll never know what hit him. This card's really good now. Legion Grenadier. I this is a buff. Like this card got buffed. 
I, I don't know. I think they meant to nerf it, but it honestly got buffed. A 3-2 that does 1 is better than a 3-1 that deals 2. Uh, let's see. We can... I should probably add a blocker anyway, because they go transfusion. I don't think it was nerf for aggro. I think it's just a just a straight up upgrade. That two health is really really important and quite valuable. Alright. I'll trade my one mana unit for a... Uh, for a Greenblade duo is what I was going to say. Think of how many like one one damage things used to kill it. You know, Vile Feast, Withering Whale, trading with with one ones like Omen Hawk. You couldn't transfusion that thing before. Now you get to transfusion that. That's big. We fight for one Freljord. Card's good. Legion Grenadier. All right, so we both spent five mana. They are down a card. And all of my units in my deck get plus one, plus one. So that's good for me for the, the long term. That's definitely good. Can they capitalize on the tempo afforded to them from that play? That is the, uh, that is the question. Hmm. I mean, double spell with the dredger and get excited. Just like just replaying Hearthguard for my whole turn, I probably want to double spell. I'm gonna get rid of this augmented experimenter. Possible I should have got rid of Von Yip. I still have the Still have to get excited to get rid of Von Yip. Hearthguard? Let's see. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to get, maybe I'm supposed to get rid of Hearthguard, actually. play the 3-4 Vanyip, which is much more of a real threat. Sure. 3-4 Vanyip, and then makes a 4-4 Teemo. Like this? Oh, I see. Another day in the field. If they don't break, they'll burn. The few for the many. So they're empty-handed. These two things aren't going to be doing any damage to me. They basically need to draw, like, another Decimate. Man, then I, I get rid of Jinx? I'm sorry, Jinx. This is just the better play. The 
Because maybe we find more one mana elusives, like the Daring Poros or something, that we get to also play this turn. Or a Gotcha, good removal spell. I'm guessing they drew Decimate how they're sitting here. Okay, now they do. So they take eleven, go to four. If only, if only we had a, if only one of those was a one drop, we would have won. If like one of these two cards was a one mana card, because you know they are already plus one, plus one because of hearth card, and then the plus two, plus two with Vanya up with, we would have won if one of these was a one mana card. Not, please not decimate. Yay, not decimate. All right, GGS. Our deck's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. What we get? A thousand shards. All right, I guess we'll take those. Not as cool as this awesome card back. Yeah, Professor Von Yip and Jinx win in games. This is something that, you know, it has not happened too often before. Our deck's looking strong, though. So I'm keeping the Daring Poor, keeping Avaros and Trapper. Do I want to keep Jinx? Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't even be keeping Daring Poro. Hmm. Maybe not. Nothing like the great outdoors. Love that. I want to play this gotcha this turn. With I do not want to see higher gun. I've whipped up something special. That can. Can's also kind of messy. I'm not gonna do it with the powder keg. Definitely considering hitting the powder keg. All right, so my plan: turn three, trapper. Turn four. Trapper plus Urchin to draw Yeti. Discard por Daring Poro, like, help dig towards more Yetis. I guess we don't get to play more Yeti on turn four. Hey, Herman. Looking for trouble. It found you. Patience. Looking for trouble? Or are you gonna just sit back? Sitting back. No trouble to be had. The trap is set. If I went to level up Jinx the easiest, we would discard the progress day. I could actually see doing that. Go for the level up on Jinx. This game's this game's amazing, there, Rap. I I like this game quite a bit. 
I've been playing this instead. No, they hit Teemo. Never stop shooting. And the urchin, and this thing. That was that was the perfect make it ring, right? Yeah, that was the perfect make it ring. Cause my other thing, my trapper was already dying. Oh, the perfect make it ring. There's blood in the water. These stories were true. Yeah, now they get to kill this thing for free with the misfortune trigger. Playing Jinx because that it's just gonna make it the easiest to level up the Jinx this turn. I only have two mana in hand, two mana worth of spells. That is. All right, then we'll just get excited, discard this thing, kill Misfortune. Carved from the savage cold. Oh no, I thought that this was gonna play through Elixir of Iron, but it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, it does. I was thinking this is gonna play through Elixir of Iron, and then I thought, oh no, it doesn't. And then I was like, oh yes, it does. Okay, good. I refuse. Okay. Now it's a party. Glad to hear, Herman, the, the Jinx deck from yesterday went well for you in ranked. This Glad to hear. Um, I guess I might as well just play the progress day. Yeah, let's try to try to draw a Mystic Shot. Ooh, or gotcha. We're gonna have Fury of the North. Fury of the North would kind of be bad. Our strength is yours. So this is the one time the Thermogenic Beam isn't so good in our deck that it's it's not. It's kind of a nombo with the Jinx because it takes all your mana up, and so then if you empty your hand with it, you don't get to actually cast the Super Mega Death Rocket. So I, I, I do understand that that's kind of a nombo, um, but I think the Thermogenic Beam is too good to, to not play. We could just throw it away and just cast it for zero right now and throw it away if we want to make sure we can cast Super Mega Death Rocket. But I think I would rather have the again. I'd rather just have the Thermogenic Beam to cast. So I haven't haven't found a you Professor Von Yip yet. Smell that barg fear. Huh. Let's see what happens. Tear them apart. To nine. What do they have left in hand? But they are just not playing. Like what else what else do they have in hand? Like what what could they have? Blood Sworn Pledge? I did not expect that card. Come on, you 
concept of journey. Hmm. Okay, I guess my opponent's doing bits. With all these plunder cards. Yeah. Alright, let's go play over in rank. Our meme tier Professor Von Yip deck actually looking great. Let's go play over in ranked. We need to play some more Demacia. Challenge some more stuff. See last breath triggers? 40 last breath triggers? That's difficult. Or play fleeting cards or summon ephemeral units. Night. Okay. Our deck's, our deck's going really well, though. Very happy with it. Now, we'll have a... We'll up the difficulty level. A little bit over in ranked. Over Master's rank, we're going to have... Aggro, Bilgewater, Noxus. Hmm. The thing about keeping those Daring Poros is honestly, I was thinking about just keeping them because I didn't really want them, but I could just like discard them. You know, we're going to be discarding stuff. Like maybe I should have kept them. I think my, I my first voice. discard's going to be Experimenter, though. I'm gonna just discard the six mana card. Ugh, should have discarded Daring Poro. Yuck. Um, I guess I play you. Let me show you what I can do. Uh, maybe I just keep the two spell mana. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. Never mind, I'm glad we played it. We get to block the saboteur. Perfect. My turn. All right, should have. Maybe should have discarded progress day. Is that all? Oh, this hurts. Kind of feel like the other way may have been better for the transfusion. Maybe. They would have killed my Sump Dredger instead of killing my 1-1. One, one. Great card to draw. Great card. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Oh, you think they're gonna have a five mana elusive? Did they have three mana? I thought they only had two mana. You think they're playing the five mana elusive over the gangplank? They were there. You are Von. Yep. A tad late. I will admit, it's a tad late. We fight as one. Oh, you're in for it. Left foot, left foot. Fuse is lit. The answer is here somewhere. What science without a little risk? Empire. 
We'll keep this thermogenic beam in case they do have a five mana elusive. Got a slippery wave rider. Be able to take that thing out. Set them all in there. They can they can block my one one with something and kill it. That's just them taking more damage. So we're down to six. We got three four power things still. They got that little T two. We have uh, two of our top three cards are enraged yetis that can be even larger with Professor Pony up and stuff. Um, you know, basically, we're at the point like where we just gotta end the game fast, which is why I'm, you know, attacking in. Like, our 1-1 our one -one isn't really necessary for Trump blocking right now. We just gotta end the game as fast as we can. Fortune favors the bold. Quite right, quite right. What did we catch? We are doing it! There we go. GG's. Dude, this deck was pretty sweet. This was pretty sweet. This, I, I was definitely impressed by this. You know, I was a little worried just because this is not a deck that has traditionally found very much success. Um, but it worked out well. I liked it. You know, even without Jury Rig, it... You know, you could maybe play Jury Rig in here as we talked about, but I don't know. I wouldn't take out the Hearth Guards. The Hearth Guards were definitely good. I liked them. So I don't think I would replace Hearth Guard. Um, you have to you have to realize that, you know, like we just played Augmented Experimenter there that last game at six mana and just discarded a couple of progress days with that. You you have to be willing to discard you know, like you have five expensive card draw things here. You have to be willing to discard those. You know, you, you don't need to try to get maximum value out of all of them. You know, with your sump dredger, with your urchin, just you know, rummage through your deck. Don't have any sacred cows. Like you can't can't get rid of Von Yip or anything like that. You know, feel free to cycle things away. Um, the gotchas were amazing. This was a card that actually was was really key, giving us that interaction. Um, absolutely loved these two gotchas. Uh, no, Zev no Experimenter is much much better than Zevi. This is not yet. Yeah, no, I wouldn't really want to want Zevi. I think I think people just really underrate Augmented Experimenter, especially with um, with these changes. Experimenter has gotten a lot better with these changes with Sump Dredger and Urchin. It really has like the it doesn't have the downside that it used to have with getting Experimenters clogged in hand with you with you being able to discard them if you get like the multiples in hand, and it's, it's just perfect with Jinx of of uh, emptying your hand when you need to. You know, rummages away right away, gets you a whole bunch of new cards immediately, which is really nice. And it's also removal, and that removal is key. Like, that deal three to an enemy is super, super valuable. Also, it just, it does a lot. This card's very good. There was not a single time that I, whenever, in any of those games with it, having Experimenter, that I thought, man, I wish this was Chief Mechanist Zevi. I think this was better than Zevi every single time, like every game. Um... Oh, I didn't change the camera settings, so it's lagging. My bad, I forgot to do that. Um, let me do that real quick. Okay, hopefully that's better. Is it? No, it's not. I guess I could have done this after the video, but now I started doing it. Test? No, it's still not better. All right, we're gonna. Have to, I'm gonna have to mess with this. What is going on? I don't know. 
anyway, um, yeah, very effective. Yeah, surprisingly effective deck. Um, the Freljord cards really worked in. The Avros and Trapper, super happy with this. It just being like the three mana three three. That's just just a really good body just to play on turn three. That just kind of slows the opponent down or gives you a threat. You know that kind of stuff. Like just um, a really good body to to just have on the third turn of the game. And then it gets you those Enraged Yetis that help you pull ahead. The Enraged Yetis were, of course, amazing. Um, you know, sometimes we had it with Professor Von Yip and we got 7-7s, seven but even without that, you get 5-5s. Five and that's also a key thing for Jinx, though. Like, drawing one-mana cards, um, you know, even even later in the game, like, you know, that you draw a one-mana card, it helps you empty your hand with the more one-mana cards that you have. So it's a one-mana card that helps you empty your hand that's also a super impactful body. So that's really nice with Jinx. And also with your other cards like Experiment or Progress Day, like those also were help. And it was really cool having, um, like we did a couple of times of like, play the Trappers, get the Enraged Yetis out there, and then play like our Urchins or our Sump Dredgers, discard other more expensive cards, draw into the one mana 5-5. Five five. You know, like you go, you go Trapper on turn three, turn four, you can go Dredger plus a 5-5. Five five. That was pretty awesome. A lot of the time, these Sump Dredgers were like 5-4s too because of Omen Hawk and Hearth Guard and things like that. Um, so yeah, very, very effective here. I'd rec you know, recommend trying this one out. Those, you know, those y'all watch on YouTube, try it out. Leave leave those, you know, leave that feedback. You know, I, I just played five games here, um, but you know, y'all will be playing more. Leave that feedback. Let me know how it's going for you. Anything uh that you particularly really like or uh anything that you feel like uh is a weakness uh feel free to let me know i think gotcha is was really key to a lot of those wins though giving us removal very good chance we should play a third gotcha i don't really know where we would put that in maybe gotcha is just better than thermogenic beam maybe but thermogenic beam can be an answer to large units that we don't have the ability to normally answer all right but anyway that's it here for Professor Jinx. So um, again, those of y'all on YouTube, leave those comments, give me that feedback, and of course hit that like button as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Y'all are amazing. And I'll see you for the next video.